hi everyone in this video i am going to explain you about the gray code and its conversion from binary to gray code and gray code to binary it is very easy gray code is nothing but a non weighted code it is also known as simply a reflective code gray code it is a non weighted code non weighted code means 2 power 0 2 power 1 we don't have like that non weighted code Okay, if we follow 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2 and so on, 2 power n, the result will not come for the gray code. Okay, so in the gray code, it doesn't follow any weight in the binary information. Okay, it is also known as, it is also known as reflective code. It is also known as reflective code. Okay. And another important thing is this code is not suitable for arithmetical operations. This code is not suitable for arithmetic operations. Okay, that means we cannot perform addition, subtraction division multiplication with this gray code because as it is a non weighted code okay it is not a bcd code it is a cyclic code because successive code works in this code differ in one bit position only okay that means so suppose if you are taking one two okay one two three four these are the consecutive numbers the code what we have got for the one and the code what we have got for the 2, 3, 4, if you observe the successive difference between these two, the successive difference or we can say the distance is only one bit. One bit distance is there between successive numbers. Okay, you can understand when I say about the numbers. The successive difference between the two digits, two numbers is one bit only. Okay, that's why it is one bit distance. Okay, so it is a non weighted code. It is also known as a reflective code and this code is not suitable for the arithmetical operations and it is having only one bit distance. Okay, and it is also you can say it is not a BCD code, binary coded decimal. Now, how to represent this gray code representation? Representation. Representation is very easy. See, first we should consider 0, 1. First, you should take 0, 1. Then take a line and draw a mirror image of this one. 1, 0. 1, 0. Append 0, 0 here and 1 1 here take again mirror image of the same 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 append 4 zeros and 4 ones append 4 zeros and 4 ones again Take mirror image 100, 101, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. I am taking here 110, 1, 1, next 010, 011, 001, now append zero first uh, four uh, zeros for first eight numbers and ones for next eight. Okay, this is the gray code information. Now, if you take the corresponding numbers in decimal format, this is zero, one, two. 3, 
ஃபோர் ஃபைவ் சிக்ஸ் செவன் எயிட் நைன் டென் எலவன் டுவெல் தேர்ட்டீன் ஃபோர்டீன் அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்டீன் திஸ் இஸ் தி கிரே கோட் ஃபார்மேட்ஸ் ஃபர் த நம்பர்ஸ் ஜீரோ டு ஃபிஃப்டீன் okay if you take weight it will not satisfy okay few may satisfy but few will not satisfy that's why it is non weighted code okay it is also known as reflective code first one it is proved second one it is a reflective code why it is reflective code why everywhere we are taking a mirror mirror image so here we are taking the mirror and then reflection again we have taken a mirror and then reflection again we have taken a mirror and then reflection next the code is not suitable for arithmetic operations because it is a non weighted code and another thing is i told you it is having one bit difference between successive numbers how it is having one bit difference let us check whether it is satisfied or not see if you take 01 is 0 0 0 0 0 this 0 converted into 1 how many units how many Uh, bits are changed from 0 to 1 only one bit similarly take 1 to 2 1 to 2 it is 0 it is 0 0 0 0, 0 converted into 1 again last number is 1 1 only so how many bits of information is changed here only one bit of information again from 2 to 3 only one bit information 4 5 3 4 take any successive number consider 13 14 13 14 only this second bit is changed remaining bits are as it is from 14 to 15 last bit okay so like this gray code is having a unit distance between the successive numbers that is another important feature of this gray code okay now let us see the conversion of this gray code from binary to gray code and as well as from gray to binary binary to gray code conversion okay in gray code methods only xor gate is sufficient to convert binary to gray code or gray code to binary xor gate is sufficient for the conversions of binary to gray code and as well as gray code to binary suppose number is given to you in binary format in binary format you are having a number like bn bn minus 1 bn minus 2 and so on b1 b0 and in gray code format you are taking the same numbers like gn gn minus 1 gn minus 2 and so on g1 g not now how to equate these numbers how to equate bn and gn bn minus 1 gn minus 1 and remaining numbers when you are converting binary to gray you have to write the equations for gray code bits gn gn minus 1 gn minus 2 like that when you are converting gray to binary you have to write the equations for binary bits okay as the conversion is now binary to gray code you need to write the equations for gray code okay so gn is given by the last digit whatever we have the same in the binary format and gn minus 1 is calculated as the bn xr bn minus 1 see gn is same but gn minus 1 is calculated as the xr of xr operation between the first and second bits gn minus 2 is equal to bn minus 1 xr bn minus 2 okay that means for this number these two xr operation again for gn minus 3 the xor operation of bn minus 2 and n minus 3 okay and so on 
g1 is equal to g2 xr g1 sorry b2 it is b2 xr b1 and g0 is nothing but b1 xr b0 okay so in this way the gray code can be uh, binary code sorry gray code can be obtained from the given binary information okay let us do a small example on this one convert the binary convert the binary 10012 gray code 10012 gray code see 1001 first digit as it is 1 this is binary okay conversion is very easy see here first digit as it is we are taking second digit is the XR of first two this one XR this one will give you the answer what is that one XR 0 1 again XR of these two 0 XR 0 0 0 XR 1 1 one zero sorry one one zero one this is the corresponding gray code for the given binary information like one zero zero one okay uh, if you have any doubt see go back here see what is one zero zero one one zero zero one is nothing but one zero zero one is nothing but nine in decimal format in binary format it is nine now let us check whether we have got 1101 for 9 in the gray code or not go back to the table see for 9 what is the value for 9 1101 1101 1101 we have got the correct answer in this way also you can check okay now let us see uh, the opposite action gray to binary conversion gray to binary conversion now you are having gray code with you how to obtain the binary format okay see gray code is given gn gn minus 1 and so on g1 g0 binary so binary is bn b n minus 1 and so on b 1 b naught ok now see here as it is we have to take b n is equal to g n the first digit is as it is like in the previous conversion second digit b n minus 1 is b n x r g n minus 1 that means this one xr with this one again b n minus 2 will be obtained by taking this one xr with the next number like b n minus 2 is equal to b n minus 1 xr g n minus 2 and so on b 1 is equal to b 1 is equal to how to obtain b1 b2 the previous number xr with this one b2 xr g1 see here bn minus 2 is equal to the previous number xr with the current gray code and b0 is equal to b1 xr g0 this is the conversion Okay, example, let us see the example. 
convert the gray code convert the gray code 1101 to binary same previous example in reverse operation we have taken so 1 1 0 1 now the first digit is as it is second digit is the XOR operation of this one and this one so 1 1 the result is 0 again this one XOR this one result is 0 again this one XR this one result is 1. So this is gray code, this is binary. Okay, we have got the same answer. See 1101 is nothing but 9, so 1001. Okay, so this is the conversion of binary to gray code and gray code to binary.